Hello, my amazing artists. Today, we are going to learn all about radial symmetry to create your very own kaleidoscope of, na of your very own name. You're going to be writing your name on a triangle and repeating it in a radial symmetry fashion uh, to create your own really cool abstract design. But if you look closely, you'll see your name. So have a listen to the directions so you know how to create your radial symmetry. So if you can look really closely, you can see that this is my name, Hooper, H-O-O-P-E-R, but I've created a mirror image of it over here, and then again flipped over here, and again over here, and that creates a really awesome radial design. Radial symmetry is when the symmetry is not just top to bottom, left to right, but instead in includes a center point and then radiating out from that center, but still keeping the symmetry. What you need today to create our radial name design is you're going to need two pieces of paper. This is just regular copy paper, um, but you can use any kind of paper that you have. You're going to need a pair of scissors, a pencil, some sort of black marker. It can be a Sharpie marker, another permanent marker, or you can just use a regular black marker. And even if you don't have any of those, you can use a black crayon. And an eraser is always handy to have. The first thing that we need to do is we need to create two squares. If you'll notice that this piece is a square, so it's symmetrical on all sides. But regular copy paper is a rectangle. So to make a square out of a rectangle, you're gonna take the bottom corner, you're gonna pull it up to the left side, so at the right bottom corner, pull it up to the left side, but not up to the corner because you want this bottom side to match up with this side here without overlapping the corner. So I'm going slowly, making sure I get a nice tip down here at the corner matching up that edge hold it still with one hand so it doesn't slide around then use your other hand to smooth out to this edge so now i can see a nice triangle and i still have this little extra piece here that's where the scissors come in i'm going to take my scissors and cut off that extra piece then i can use this piece of paper as practice paper so i'm going to put that aside so now i have one square when I unfold it, and it's got one diagonal line through it. I want to create a second diagonal line to make a big X through my paper. So I'm going to take the corner that has the, the diagonal line, and I'm going to bring it up to the matching corner on the other side, folding it as a triangle. And then when I unfold it, you can see that I have four triangles. Hey, we just did math. Oh my goodness. I now have four quarters to my paper. One, two, three, four. Um, and then we get to do it all over again. So I'm going to put this to the side. I'm going to take my second piece of paper. Unfold it. Hey, now we have fourths instead of halves. One, two, three, four. All right, now one of these papers, we're going to be cutting a triangle out. So I'm going to cut just one triangle out of this piece of paper. I'm going to cut from the corner right along the fold till I reach the center. When I reach the center, I'm going to turn my paper and I'm going to cut the triangle going the other way. To create my name design, I want to have the longest side of my triangle at the bottom with the point up in the center top. Then I'm going to take my pencil so I can uh, fix any mistakes that I might make, and I want to plan out my letter. Now let me grab this bit of scrap paper we cut off, and I'm going to write out my name. This lets me be able to visually see how many letters I have in my name. You want the center of your name to kind of land in the center of your triangle. So if I think I have six letters, so I need three of the letters to be on this side and three of the letters to be on that side. When you're drawing, you want the top and bottom of each layer letter to touch the top and bottom of your triangle. So I'm actually going to start in the middle of my name. I find that a little easier because sometimes when I'm writing with letters, I run out of room and then I've got letters all squashed in the corner. So I'm gonna start with the O and the P for the center of my name, and I know this O needs to be on this side and the P needs to be on this side. So I'm gonna draw touching the top, coming down to the bottom, a big skinny O. 
And then I'm gonna do the P on this side. I wanna come all the way up to the top, down to the bottom. You know, I just noticed that one's not on the bottom, so I can use my pencil to fix that when it's actually touching the top and the bottom. And then I need my P to come around and I actually want it to touch the top and it's okay if it goes off the edge of the paper a little. And I've got a P. I'm gonna make it a block letter. So I added an extra line on this side and I'm gonna put another O inside of my O to make it a block letter. And so now I know how much space I have for these two letters and those two letters. block letters so you don't want just just straight lines like we did on our practice you want each one to have a block shape to it because we want to have a shape that we can color in have one square that is not cut and we need to trace this design onto this paper. If you traced over it in the black marker and you have thin copy paper you should be able to just slide it underneath and when you do so you should be able to see the letters going right through. If you have trouble seeing because maybe your paper is a little thicker just hold this up to a window and it'll shine right through. The window acts like a light box. touches the R. So if I just trace to this one directly over here, the regular way, notice the P touches the O and the E touches the O. We don't want that. So you're going to flip it upside down. So now my name is going backwards and I'm going to tuck it under the paper again. Line it up. Remember, if you have trouble seeing it through your paper, hold it up to a window and trace it against the window to make it easier to see. Hold it still and trace back over it. So now my P lines right up with my other P. And we're creating symmetry along this folded line on the paper. Every time you move to a new section, make sure to flip over the name template so that the letters always match up to continue your symmetry. There, and now I have my completed radial name design. Looks kind of like when you're looking through a kaleidoscope. So the final step is to just color it in. I used markers to outline my letters to get some nice bright bold color and then I switched to crayons to color everything in to give it a nice texture. You could 
to leave it here and just color in the letters if you're running out of time, but if you have a few more minutes to spend on this project, you can go color in the background. I chose all warm colors to color in my letter, so I'm going to use cool colors to do the background. Remember, warm colors are red, orange, yellow, and then cool colors would be green, blue, and purple. Thank you. 